If you're looking for YouTube banner dimensions and export options in Photoshop, don't worry, I've got you covered. So very quickly, in essence, we're creating a document that covers viewers for four potential scenarios. You've got your TV format, you've got the maximum width of a desktop, you've got people viewing on tablet, and then you've also got the minimum viewed on a desktop and also mobile. This is also known as the safe area. So if I show you my YouTube banner and I show you how this translates, you can see this document can be viewed on TV, there's the maximum width of the desktop, there's the desktop minimum or mobile, and also viewed on tablet. Now the key thing is here, is to make sure that all your important information is in this, what's known as the safe area. So your logo, your channel header information, how frequently you, you upload, your social handles, anything like that. And if I go to view, show, and guides, I can toggle the guides on or off using command or control semicolon. So you can see now this is how it looks. If I turn off my dimensions, this is how the completed file will look once exported. So let's start by going to file, new document. So we give this Photoshop file a name, so I'm just going to call mine YouTube underscore header 02. I'm going to set a width of 2560 and a height of 1440. Keep my resolution to 72 pixels per inch and keep my color mode at RGB color because this is for web. Once I'm happy, click create. Next, I'm going to come over to my shape tool and I'm going to select the rectangle tool. With the rectangle tool selected, set a fill color, so this can be anything you want, and make sure the stroke is turned off by selecting the deselect stroke. Just simply click on the canvas. So I'm gonna do my desktop max now. So we're gonna set that 2560 with a height of 423. Press okay. So now I've got this rectangle here. Use the selection tool, click the rectangle, hold control or command, select the background layer as well. And then I'm going to center horizontally and vertically. Now let's do the tablet, same thing again. Select rectangle tool. This time do a different color. Let's just do a red. Click on the canvas. Now we're going to do 1855 by 423. Press OK. Same process, selection tool, command or control on the background layer, center align, center align, and select off. And then finally, we're going to do this one last time for the desktop minimum, mobile, and safe area. So once again, come to your rectangle tool. Let's select another color with no stroke. Click on the canvas. Now we're going to set this to 1546 pixels by 423. We're going to press OK. Again, use the selection tool, command or control on the background layer, and then center, center. And now we've got our safe area here. Select off the rectangles. Make sure your rulers are turned on now by going to view rulers. And then what we're going to do is drag out our guidelines now. So I'm going to select the desktop mask and I'm going to drag out two guidelines as such. Select the tablet. I'm going to come from the left, drag out one guideline drag out a second guideline, and then finally then let's select the safe area and do the same. Drag out one guideline, drag out a second guideline, and then what I can do is if I go to File, Guides, Lock Guides, I can keep these guides locked in place. So before we continue, it's a good idea to save this file as an original Photoshop file. So let's go to File, Save. You can either save it to the cloud or on your computer. So I'm going to save this in my Images folder and press Save, press OK. And then finally then we can either remove these rectangles or we can highlight the three using shift and selecting the top and bottom. Right click and either command or control G or group from layers. So I can call this dimensions, press OK and then I can toggle these on or off. So from there it's up to you to design the artwork how you see fit. So once you've designed your artwork and you're ready to export and again remember I can use command or control semicolon to toggle the guides on or off. Once you're ready to export come to file, export, export as. The switch to my two up and you have four choices now you can save as jpeg png bitmap or non-animated gif so i'm going to save mine as a jpeg you've got a maximum file size of six meg to play with so i'm going to set my quality to high i'm happy with my image width and height and everything else can stay the same once i'm ready then i'm going to click export i want to export it to my images folder so that's absolutely fine and then when i'm happy i can simply press save then if I come to my images, I can see that there's my YouTube header ready to be uploaded to YouTube. So there you have it. There's your YouTube banner dimensions and export options in Photoshop. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Keep on designing and I will see you for the next tutorial.